Jackie, and for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to get this very girly and pink look inspired by Gigi Hadid. I love her makeup look, she always looks so put together, and then her hair she wears a lot of messy waves, so that is what I'll show you how to get today. And I also show you how to put on individual false lashes. I know getting lash extensions is really popular and this gives a similar look, so I hope you guys enjoy this look and let's get into it. Start with a clean, moisturized face and go in with a smoothing primer. I really like this one by Maybelline, it feels great on the skin. And for foundation, I'm using CoverGirl Clean mixed with Gerard Cosmetics BB+. Adding in a liquid highlighter thins out the foundation a little bit and gives it more of a sheer radiance to the skin like Gigi. I like to apply with a brush and then smooth out the texture with a beauty sponge. This helps remove any excess product and make sure everything's even. I love the Laura Mercier Under Eye Concealer. It's full coverage and has a brightening effect so you look really awake. And I'm just adding a sheer layer underneath my eyes in a small V shape, then around my nose and smile lines, and then on my chin. I'm adding a tiny bit to my forehead, but I'm skipping adding product to highlight my nose. I just find it's too much product and powder does the trick. I'm setting with a sheer highlighting powder for that very glowy look. Do this lightly because you don't want the skin to look kind of slick or too shiny. And then right under the eyes use a translucent powder to set that concealer so it doesn't crease as much. And moving on to bronzer, I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. I actually love this stuff and I really like their True Blend blushes. I do have a sponsored video with CoverGirl coming up and I use these and I use them every day. So yeah, I'm really glad that these are in my collection and they are inexpensive as well. So definitely check these out and I just apply it as I normally would with bronzer. And then for blush, I'm using one of my favorites. This is MAC's Peony Petal. And then right to blend in the bronzer with the blush. I added a little bit of exposed from Tarte, but anything that's kind of a deep coral will work. Moving on to brows, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Satin Duo. I've said this before, but I love this brow product. It's very easy to use. So with the pencil side, just line underneath your natural brow shape and then start filling it in. I like to keep it softer at the head of the brow and just make it a little tiny bit square and then just start filling in the rest of my brow in any sparse areas, but I'm keeping it pretty natural. And then I'm brushing it out so that it all blends together a little bit better. And Gigi has her styled where they're all kind of combed up and she uses a gel for this. So I'm keeping mine in place with a brow gel and just making sure that the hairs are upwards but also not too messy and still brushed aside into place. Make sure to prime your lids so your shadows last all day. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden and to brighten up the lid as well as the brow bone I'm using Ploof from MAC mixed in with a matte cream shade just so it has a little bit more of an opaque look. And right in the inner corner I'm adding some nylon and I dipped my brush in a little bit of MAC's Fix Plus so it's a little bit more intense. And then we are going to move into the crease. I love to do my crease color just a little bit higher than my natural crease and Gigi had her makeup done like this as well. It just makes the eyelid appear larger and your eyes a little bit more deep set. And with a slightly deeper brown, still keeping it warm, I'm applying it in a V and I'm just blending downward onto my lid just to deepen up the look a little bit. This is optional, but I'm adding in my favorite MAC shadow. This is Amber Lights, and I'm just applying it to my lid a little bit from the outer V. I think it just blends nicely with Ploof because they're kind of the same texture, and I love the shadow. It looks really great on blue eyes especially, but on all eye colors too. And then I'm gonna go in with a NYX Liquid Liner. I love this one, and I'm starting the line really thin uh, where my lashes begin, and then I'm building it up about midway and creating a very small wing. I find once the wing is down, it's easier to see where that crease is, so I'm going in with a little more of a charcoal brown shade, and I'm also applying a little bit underneath the outer corner of my bottom lash line to help open up the eye. So that is it for the shadows, just really simple and pretty and just polish off the eye. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply one of my favorite mascaras. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I go back to this one all the time and I'm really just coating my upper lashes and then just touching the mascara wand on the bottom lashes a tiny bit, but keeping it more top heavy. 
You can totally leave the look like this, but I decided to go in with some individual lashes. I have doubled up ones and then single ones from Ardell. They're both in medium and I'm just applying the singles just to the inner corner where my lashes start and then I start adding in some doubled up ones as I go. And I really like the look of this. It does take more time and effort, but it gives a really plush looking um, lash look and it looks a little bit more natural than a full strip. So this is just another option and you just take it the lash with some tweezers, dip the end in some duo glue, let it dry for a second, and then just plop it on your natural lash line, making sure that it sticks to the skin and make sure it doesn't like twirl around and then blend together with some mascara. Now that we got these plush lashes, I am blending them into my natural lashes a little bit more with a little bit of liner on my tight line. I said a little bit like five times there, but oh well. And moving on to lips, I'm using World Lip Liner from MAC. This is a great lip liner and I'm just slightly overdrawing my top lip, just rounding it out a little bit to match my bottom a little better. And for the lipstick, I'm using Angel from MAC. Fun fact, this was my first lipstick ever from MAC and I still haven't run out of it, but I do like to go to this one. And then right in the center, I'm using Pervet from MAC, which just brightens it up a little bit. You could totally use one or the other. I just really like layering the three. And the final step is I'm using the new Ariana Grande um, gloss, the Viva Glam collection one. I also got the lipstick, which I'll do in another tutorial, but the gloss is really pretty and just a pretty pink you can wear every day. I'm popping on a little bit more bright pink blush to polish up the look and give it a really fresh and pretty look and I love this look. It's one of my favorites. I hope you guys like it too. And now for the sexy easy breezy hair. parted in the middle and add some heat protectant as we are going to use a curling wand. Also add a dry shampoo to lift the roots and do a little teasing at the roots so it doesn't sit too flat. To tease, just take a small section and lift your hair up on an angle and then back home really lightly. You don't want to do this too aggressively. I really don't like teasing, but it really helps with this look, so I'm doing it gently. And also add a light hairspray to the roots to separate them a little bit for that sexy, messy look. I think this little step makes my natural hair look less limp and more like Blake Lively-esque, so I like to do it sometimes, especially in a middle part. And now for the waves, I'm using a very large barrel. This is the Numi Waver that locks into a big barrel. I will have it linked down below, hoping that they still have this one. If not, I will have a dupe for it. And when the curl falls, I'm spraying it more on the top section for a tighter curl than the bottom, so it kind of goes into a wave. And also tease out the curl as it's cooling down for more volume. Finally, at the front section, I'm using a one inch curler. I have two curlers plugged into the wall and I'm using this like a wand and just wrapping the hair around the barrel. And I want uh, more of a curl at the front around my face. So that's why I'm using two different curling wands. And when the curl is cooling again, continue to tease it out a little bit and fluff it up so it's more into a soft wave. Spray with a light hold hairspray to give the hair more of a gritty texture and piece it apart with your fingers. I like to comb sort of in a backwards motion so that the hair kind of blends together away from my face. Repeat the same steps on the other side and what really makes this look is the use of hairspray and light teasing. I love the Pantene air spray. It smells great and it's perfect for a date or school because the hair is still touchable and it has some movement and it also smells great without being too overwhelming. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up for more celeb inspired looks I've recently done Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, and now Gigi So let me know if you have any others you'd like me to add to the list 
and make sure that you are following me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat, we heard it, the list goes on. All the links will be in the down bar. I love following you guys back and if you want to chat with me, definitely try Instagram DM. That's the one I frequently uh, look at the most. And what else was I going to say? Oh, if you're looking for a look for Valentine's Day, I think this would be really pretty for a date or at a school, maybe without the false lashes. So you might want to like favorite it or like put a watch later so you don't forget maybe this look if you're looking to do something soft and girly. But I will have another Valentine's Day video as well. I just thought that this would be a good option for it. And anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.